Today, we're going to be learning about the differences between Python 2 and Python 3 on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Python was first developed in 1990 and has been widely adopted due to its simple syntax. It has also become extremely popular within the hacking community, as you may have noticed if you watch many of our videos because the scripts that we cover are usually Python scripts. Now, even if you don't want to write your own hacking scripts, understanding how Python works can be very useful for debugging any scripts that you download and may not be working properly. Today, we're going to be covering the key differences between the two main versions of Python, which are Python 2 and Python 3. It's important to note, however, that Python 2 received its last official update as of January 1st, 2020. But understanding how Python 2 works can be, still be important because many popular hacking scripts were already written in Python 2 and won't be seeing major updates to convert them to Python 3. If you have any problems with this video, you can check out the article, which is linked in the description. And all you'll need to follow along is a computer which is capable of running Python. So there are several different ways you can actually run Python on your computer. You can download and install like a fully fledged program, which is called an IDE. One, one I would recommend is called PyCharm, but there's several others out there. You could use um, a text editor such as Visual Studio Code. And this is something I really like for writing short scripts because it has stuff like syntax highlighting. Um, it can actually save your files and it has a lot of other plugins built into it. One other way you can do it, which we're going to be covering today, is you can actually go ahead and open up a terminal and run Python from there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there's various different ways to install Python, and it's going to vary widely depending on your operating system. Linux is one of the easiest ways. Um, I'm using Ubuntu here, so I just used um, APT Package Manager to install Python. There's several guides you can find online, and it should only take one or two um, lines of code. But if you're using a Windows configuration, it might be a little more tricky to install Python because after you install Python, if you want to use Python in the command prompt, you're going to have to edit your path variables, and that's a whole other tutorial. So we're going to be starting this assuming that you already have Python installed in your computer. So it's going to be depending on how your variables are named, if you want to run Python 2 or Python 3. But in my case, to run Python 2, I just simply type in Python with a letter, the number 2 after it. And as you can see, it's Python 2.7.17. So I'm gonna leave this terminal open on that side, and I'm gonna go open a new Python terminal for Python 3, so we can go and explore the differences between the two. So in my case, to run Python 3, I just simply have to type in Python. And as you can see, it's Python 3.7.3. Uh, and so the first difference we'll work on is um, the print function. So print is exactly what it sounds like. It's very useful for relaying information to the user or to yourself when you wanna debug some stuff. To um, print, you can just like print a name. So in Python 2, you can just type in print um, null byte is awesome. And as you can see, it does null byte is awesome. But if we try that in Python 3, so if we try print null byte, we want to print the string, it's not going to work because Python 3 requires that you use a parentheses in the print function. So let's go ahead and fix that. And as you can see, it printed properly. And if you go back to Python 2, it actually does work with parentheses as well. So Python 2 is actually a little more versatile in, oops, <laughs> I wasn't thinking there. So Python 2 is actually a little more versatile in this case. But um, one of the things Python 3 focused on improving over Python 2 is making the code more concise, and more understandable. And so removing different options like that can actually kind of make the code easier to understand because there's only one way of doing it. Another key difference between Python 2 and Python 3 is how they handle integer division. So um, an integer in computer science is a digit with no decimal places. So it's just like the number one, the number two, the number three. So for example, two, um, if you do type two, it's gonna relay type int. But if I do type 2.5, it's gonna return as a float. That means um, a float is capable of storing decimal places. Even if you do type 2.0, it's gonna return as a float. So Python 2 and Python 3 handle um, dividing two integers differently. So if I do um, print three divided by two, if we do this in our heads, we know that three divided by two is 1.5. But when you divide two integers in Python 2, it's gonna return an integer. So it's just gonna basically, it'll calculate the decimal places, but it's gonna cut that off and it's not gonna show what that is. But instead, if we want to get the full decimal places, if we do print 3.0 divided by 2.0, it's going to return 1.5. And so this is the way Python, I actually kind of prefer that it returns uh, floats, 
even if you give it integers. So if we do um, print three divided by two, in this case, it's actually gonna return the float. You don't have to make the dividend and the quotient floats. You can just make them integers and it will return a, the actual value of the result. So Python 2, if you're familiar with C programming, Python 2 is much more similar to C. We're dividing two integers and stay as an integer. But Python 3 is more similar to like a how a calculator would work. So one more thing we're going to cover is printing Unicode in Python 2 versus Python 3. So if you remember, on the left side it's Python 2 and on the right side it's Python 3. So uh, Unicode is basically a text encoding format. And so on Python 3 it prints in Unicode by default. So if you just do print this is Unicode, it will be formatted as Unicode by default. But in Python 2, it will automatically start as ASCII, but if you want to print it as Unicode, you have to specify Unicode. So you'll just do U, now this is Unicode. But if you do print by default in Python 3, this is actually ASCII. The differences between Unicode and ASCII is Unicode has a much, much, much more rich character base. So it supports almost every commonly used language. Unicode supports emojis, while ASCII is much more limited and much usually only has like Latin characters that it can use. So Unicode is much more versatile and it's a nicer code um, encoding format to use for the text. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out our website where we have hundreds of free articles and videos, as well as premium paid content like the Ethical Hacking Certification Bundle, which features pen testing with OWASP Zap, WordPress hacking and hardening, and the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst prep course. Check out the link in the description below. As we just saw, both Python 2 and Python 3 are pretty similar. However, with Python 2 receiving its end of life update, you should probably spend more of your energy focusing on learning Python 3. If you have any problems with this video, you can check out the article, which is linked in the description. If you have any ideas for a future video, you can hit me up on Twitter at Nick Godshaw. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.